Symphony and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited to finally be talking about this topic. A couple weeks ago I actually posted a video which was like shopping with me vlog style for the smoothie diet and I've been getting a lot of like DMs and just like messages about what is the smoothie diet, how did it go, what are my results. So I am finally here today to share that with you. Guys, sorry if I sound like nasally, I'm actually sick, but I am filming this video for you guys anyway. So make sure that if you like this video and if you like more like weight loss or self-help or self-love or just more chatty types of videos give me a like on this video and let me know in the comments below if you like this or more like makeup and hair type videos so yeah make sure you give me a like and make sure that you subscribe to my channel join the sweet symphony sisterhood it would be so so great to have you here i know you guys are clicking my links and checking it out so i just appreciate that so much but you might as well subscribe and join the sisterhood so let's get into today's topic so the smoothie diet so what is the smoothie diet the smoothie diet is basically some people call it the juice diet some people call it the smoothie diet it's basically just for 10 for 7 to 10 days doing only smoothies nothing else now there's different like varieties or modifications of this diet you can do three smoothies a day or three juices a day and do like healthy snacks in between or you can do for breakfast have a smoothie for lunch have a smoothie and then for dinner have a meal so basically what I did is I took the juice diet by Sophieology she is a youtuber and an instagrammer and if you go on like instagram and just type in Sophieology she actually has her smoothie recipes and her highlights so I did a mixture of her um actual juice diet and the JJ Smith smoothie cleanse and just kind of like married them together. I liked how JJ Smith had a lot of smoothies that had like greens like spinach and stuff like that incorporated and with her diet you pretty much only do smoothies. You do like three to five smoothies a day and then you can do healthy snacks like baby carrots and nuts and things like that in between. And with Sophieology, she does like three, she does a breakfast smoothie, a lunch smoothie, and then dinner that's under 500 calories. So I did not do the dinner, but I appreciated how Sophieology, a lot of her juices were a little bit more tasty, in my opinion, than the JJ Smoothie Cleanse smoothies. So I will like link information to both of their stuff in the description box below. I know there's a lot of stuff going on, and I just kind of like married everything together. So with Sophieology's juices, she calls them juices instead of smoothies, she would do different fruits and almond milk and ice and things like that and it would actually be very very tasty but also very healthy whereas um, JJ Smith she did more like kale and spinach and things like that. So it's meant to flush your system to clean you out and also to help you lose fat because obviously you're only eating healthy things and you're restricting yourself from eating more high calorie foods and junk and things like that. So what I personally did when I married these two plans together is for an entire week for seven days I only ate smoothies. I did smoothies and healthy snacks but my healthy snacks were the ingredients for the smoothies if that makes sense. So what I did is I would have three or four smoothies a day. I would blend spinach, kale, apples, carrots, um, pineapple. If you guys go back, I will link my video down below which is the shop with me for the smoothie diet and you can see in that video everything that I purchased where I did like pineapples, um, mango, what else, strawberries, blueberries, berry blends, all different types of fruits and I would blend that together with like banana and spinach and then I would add like some ice or some almond milk and I pretty much just did it like however I wanted to do it. I know that JJ Smith has actual, she has a book and I can link that down in the description box below, but she has a book that basically gives you all these different recipes that you can do and it's very like strict and planned out so that you don't have to wake up in the morning and say like hmm what do I want to do and then you don't kind of like have a guide whereas I kind of was like hey I like strawberries I like apples let's do a handful of spinach 
blend that thing together and add some ice and call it a day and sometimes I would go on Sophieology's page and just kind of like look at her highlights and see what juice she did for that day and mimic the exact same thing. So that's pretty much what the smoothie diet is. You're just doing smoothies or juices and blending it together and you're not having meals and definitely if you do decide to have meals if you're just kind of like starting out if you're kind of like a baby dieter or whatever you can add a dinner that's under or 500 calories or under but I didn't do that I rather just power through it lose the weight and keep it pushing so um that's pretty much what it is um, make sure that you are consulting with your physician I am not a doctor JJ Smith I don't believe is a doctor. Sophiology is not a doctor. So everyone is saying that they're not doctors. Make sure that you consult with your physician if you feel like you would have any like health risks. If you're pregnant, do not do this. Um, if you are a diabetic, I don't think you're supposed to do a whole bunch of fruit that's high in sugar. Make sure you ask your physician about all of that. And just listen to your body. If your body is telling you, hey, I really, really, really need food, have maybe a salad if your body's telling you if you're used to meats and you don't feel like you can go cold turkey maybe for dinner you can have a chicken salad and some fruit on the side make sure you're listening to your body i do not want you guys passing out out here in these streets please do not be out shopping or at work and hit the ground and be like oh sweet symphony told me about this diet listen to your bodies it is not that important to lose weight if you are sacrificing your life just to lose a few pounds it's absolutely not worth it so make sure that you're careful plan ahead of time I purchased I went out like a couple days beforehand and I purchased a blender from Target I got the $20 blender I'm not even gonna tell you guys the name because when I tell you it's the worst blender I have ever used in my entire life I'm not really a person that uses a blender all the time um so I didn't want to go out and buy like a $50 blender. I actually, the first time I did this diet was about a little over a year ago. And I used the Magic Bullet. But the smoothie would get stuck like in that little like silicone thing down in the top. So it would be really, really hard to clean. And I did not want to go through all of that. And I'm kind of like grossed out by stuff like that. So I was like, let me just invest in a, in a, in a blender. But then I spent 20 bucks on that because I was like, well, I'm not trying to like get the high-end thing if I don't even really like using blenders it was the worst decision like ever I should have just spent the 50 bucks and just got a nice blender because I had to like push it over and over and over again so anyways my point is go to Target and actually spend maybe like 40 to 50 dollars on a blender or steal your mom's blender which is what I should have done or something like that um pick out your fruit ahead of time pick out your vegetables ahead of time and you can use frozen fruits i used frozen fruits and and um regular fresh apples because who has time to be buying little carts of like strawberries and blueberries that's mad expensive it's a lot of work getting me tight in the morning like i cannot do all of that and be chopping all those strawberries like no one has time for that so get your bags of strawberries blueberries all of your fruit and then you can even like get little tupperware containers and just pour all of your ingredients in each container ahead of time so that when it's time for you to do your smoothies you can just dump your container or your plastic baggie full of your ingredients in the blender and you're done it's time to go so um yeah i would just say prepare ahead of time make sure that you're being careful a lot of people said how hard was it it was kind of difficult especially because I don't like smoothies <laughs> and I know it's kind of like okay well then why are you doing this diet if you don't even like smoothies good point um I'm not really sure I said I want to lose a little bit of weight I had been eating really really crappy it was like we went through the holidays Me, my boyfriend and I moved into our home different things like that and I was just eating like junk just eating not even junk I was just eating too many carbs for my body and I'm very carb sensitive to those things like I spoke with my doctor and just I my body can't even handle the normal amount of carbs that another person eats or whatever I was going to the movies eating popcorn and you know when you're just feeling like you need more water in your life you're needing more like vegetables and you just kind of like want to start fresh start over so that's what that's what this was for me it was just kind of like a reset getting me going in the right direction concerning like health and diet and I feel like now I'm a lot more conscious but 
I don't like smoothies so sorry I'm cracking my knuckles if you're hearing that popping but um I don't like smoothies so it was kind of hard for me especially because after a couple days like the texture of a smoothie ugh, gr like like the smooth I just I don't like it I, I don't like but it's really really good for you it would be very tasty the smoothies are very very tasty but the texture throws me off so that's why it was very hard for me if you like smoothies and if texture things does not bother you like I can't even eat a banana because of the texture but if textured things does not bother you you'll be perfectly fine I did it for a total of seven days I would have went longer if I didn't mind the texture but again Mm -mm, not for your girl so if you don't mind texture and things like that you'll be perfectly fine um, if you get to seven days and you're like starving and you're like my body's hungry start doing some salads you know it's perfectly fine um, how much weight did I lose I lost a total of eight pounds and over the course of seven days I was going to show you guys like before and after pictures but I relatively look the same like I'm a petite person and I carry weight semi all over the majority of my weight would rest like in my hips and in my thighs but I do carry weight in other places like my arms my waist things like that so I don't know like I took the before and after pictures and there wasn't this drastic 20 pound difference I was like there's no point I lost eight pounds I kept six of the, those pounds off so I did lose fat not just water weight um would I do it again yes if I needed to get myself back on track personally I feel like there are easier ways to lose weight I've done keto before um, I've done keto and I can do a review on that maybe later keto is a little bit easier um, you can just cut back on the amount of calories that you're taking in. I feel like people make weight loss this really really big deal when literally eat less than what you're eating work out more than what you're working out and you will lose weight scientifically proven like there is no other like gimmick even with the smoothie diet that's the same thing you're just eating less and the smoothies have healthy ingredients so you're taking in less calories if that makes sense you can eat all the healthy food in the world but if you're not making sure that you're restricting your calorie intake you're not going to lose weight hope that makes sense you need to be working out or exercising your body burning more calories than what you're taking in it's just the math of the situation if that makes sense um so yeah basically the question I was answering is would I do it again yes but if I was just going for weight loss if I was just going for like I just want to get healthy reset my body do a cleanse get all that crap out of me then yes I would do the smoothie diet again if I just wanted to strictly lose weight I would just eat healthier and work out more Honestly, I think the results from that are going to come quicker to you because it's more sustainable. A smoothie diet, you're going to do it for 7 to 10 days and be like, okay, good, I'm done. And then after that, you might want to binge unhealthy food. Whereas with eating out, I mean, working out and eating better and eating smaller portions, you can kind of let go the distance and it's not going to be mm, such a quick burnout and you're going to lose more fat, if that makes sense. For me, I just kind of wanted to lose a little bit of weight lose the puffiness that you get when you're eating out too often and just kind of like reset my body and get back on track um i think that the smoothie diet is the perfect jump start to a healthier lifestyle after the smoothie diet i was way more conscious with like the types of food that i was eating i'm a big vegetable person like i love broccoli russell sprouts asparagus fruit not so much i'm sorry American fruit just ain't it I don't know how to tell you guys like I'm Jamaican and we eat like mangoes and guinea and sweet sop and like just jackfruit and really really rich amazing juicy fruits and here in the US it's like you have apples but those are like dry and almost like styrofoamy oranges that taste like water watermelon y'all can keep that like I'm just not a big American fruit girl, mm -mm, not me, but I think that if you maintain a healthy lifestyle and do vegetables, you can go the distance. And a lot of times people don't tell you that fruit is not, I know I'm going on a rant, but fruit isn't always best for losing weight because you're actually taking in a lot of sugars unless you're eating like berries and things like that. Okay, right over. But yeah, that's pretty much like all of the details on the smoothie diet. Again, I lost eight pounds in seven days. I definitely think that it's attainable. I think it is 
quick little thing to do if you need to jumpstart your lifestyle or if you're like hey I want to like look snatched in this dress on Saturday like I need <laughs> I need to get there honey the smoothie diet will do it for you so make sure you check out the links in the description box below which are vlogging me going shopping for the smoothie diet everything that you need right there in that video for you so theology I will link her did she do I don't know if she did a video for it. I will put her name down below and you can just like hop over to Instagram and look at her highlights for that information um the JJ smoothie cleanse book I will put that down below so make sure that you guys check these out if you have any questions at all or if you just want to talk about weight loss or anything like that or healthy things I love talking about that stuff leave any comments down in the description box below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I am trying to get to 500 subscribers Ooh, okay so make sure you join the sweet symphony sisterhood by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next upload bye